Hey, it's Chanel. Hey, it's Aislinn, and today we're going to demo Steamer Curl. This is the Steamer Curl Professional Curling Machine. It's a mouthful. <laughs> um, we've seen similar types of curling instruments um, like this, little contraptions. And honestly, we've been a little skeptical, um, but a little curious to see if they really work. They look a little scary. The idea that your hair gets sucked into a chamber and um, curled. So, when we were asked to demo this and give our review on it, we were excited just to see how it worked. Okay, first I'll show you all of the different details of this hair tool and then we will show you how it works. Okay, to use this, here's the power button and you just push it on and then you can choose your temperature, temperature 230, 210, or 190. This is the steamer key. So it comes with a little bottle of water and you can actually put water right in here and you can have steam to heat your curls. And then this is how long you want your curls to sit for in the chamber, 12 seconds, 10 or eight. So the longer it gets a tighter curl. And then this is the direction that this little barrel turns, right, left or auto. So I guess depending on which side of your head you're doing. So the hair comes and you set it in this channel, you close it, it pulls your hair in from the back, and then it beeps, and then it'll beep four short times, just like that, and then that's when you release and the hair is done. Okay, oh, an important feature of this tool is this little sign that says, important, always use this side facing towards the head. I've done it the other way, and it really is important to do it the right way. So, with that being said, it makes it a little more awkward to do it on somebody else. Just, it is really made, um, if you're right-handed, to use it on yourself, which is a bonus if you are buying it for yourself. Otherwise, you're just going to have to kind of figure it out. <laughs> um, but we'll show you how that goes. So I'm going to take a small section, not too thick, of Aislinn's hair. You can see that it gets a little awkward for me. <laughs> I'm never sure which is the right way to go. So once I get it in there and I make sure no hair is kind of hanging out of the, outside that channel, you can scoot it up, close it, and you wait for it to curl. Is it pulling? Mm -hmm. You don't feel it at all? No. Nope. Okay. Do you feel heat? Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's done. And we have this on the eight second setting. So that is the shortest one. You can see what kind of a curl it gives her. But pretty nifty, huh? Pretty slick. Okay, do you wanna try it? Sure. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have Aislinn show you how she's been using it. You can see all of her lovely curls down here in front. So I took away her mirror. <laughs> so I'll just give her a section of hair. So tell them what you think about this. It's a lot easier to use that curl. Okay, why? Why is it easier? And you don't have to worry about getting your hair all stuck in the iron. Okay, what else? This you just have to stick it in and then you have to close it and it does the rest. Pretty easy. easy. <laughs> yeah? Have you had fun doing it? Yeah. She's not showing it, but she was having a lot of fun <laughs> using this. Okay, Slender, would you give it a thumbs up? Yeah. Definitely? Yeah? I think it is a very useful little tool. It's definitely nice to not think about or worry about getting burned when you're curling the hair or having to twirl or you know wrap the hair around anything. It's very simple to use. It really does work. I mean, you look at these gorgeous <laughs> curls that my 11-year-old did all by herself. Pretty impressive. So go check this out. I will put all the links that you need to have down below in the description box and then make sure and check out our blog post with um, further information and also some further commentary on what we think about this fun little steamer curl. But thanks for watching. We always love when we um, see your comments down below and make sure to follow us on all of our social media and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And what else? Did I forget anything? Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next week.